Why don't you just believe it? The more you get into it, the more you can understand. You can understand. But I struggled over that. The devil, he beat me black and blue. Every time I think about it, you know, I hear people say, well, you know, the, the initial evidence is of being filled with the Spirit is speaking in tongues. And the devil say, yeah, and you didn't do it. Yeah, he's awful. Yeah, and you hear these men of God that you know is telling the truth. The initial evidence of being filled with the Holy Ghost is the evidence of speaking in tongues. And I'd say, that's, <laughs> that's what the Word of God said. The devil said, yeah, you didn't do it. And you wouldn't feel. And he beat me black and blue over that. And it was my fault. And I didn't know any better. And one day we was over in Reinhard Bunke's meeting. And this is something I never heard before. And he began to, he said, anybody that can, I want you to begin to sing in the Spirit. Hmm? What? I'm thinking, now what's coming? Well, maybe there'll be two or three, maybe. I don't know what's going to happen. Well, he's, he's a minister of music. He got on the organ. He was playing that good music, and he started singing in the Spirit. He started singing these words, and to my amazement, it sound. There was 4,000 people in that building, give or take. It sounded like every one of them was singing in the Spirit. I doubt if there would have been a handful of them that wasn't. I never heard such a glorious moment. And by faith, by faith, I said, it's now or never. <laughs> and I couldn't even hear myself. It was so loud I couldn't hear myself. And boy, I just cut loose and I, this is just the rolling out of me. There you go, devil. Amen. And from that day on, I realized that I could pray in the Spirit. I could speak in the Spirit at will. Now, I'm not done near enough of it. I need to do 10,000 times more than what I have. But there's times I pray in the, in the Holy Ghost. You know what you're saying? Mm -mm. No. But it's like building up your, it's charging up your battery, the Bible says. Yep. Building up yourselves on your most holy faith. That's right. Yeah, but I don't understand that. Look, I believe a lot of things I don't understand. I do. I do. I believe a lot of things I don't understand. If you, if you try to go in your walk with God like that, you'll get nowhere. Nowhere will you go. You, the first, the first step, you'll you'll have to back up. Say, I don't understand it. That's right. That's right. Behold, a virgin shall conceive. What's oh, I can't understand that now. Right. How in the world could a virgin conceive? That's impossible. Well, then you know what? I can't understand that. That's right. That's right. So now I've already hit my first hurdle before I even get out of the gate. Right. Now I'm in trouble. That's right. Now, Amen. And you look back there and the first words on the first page. And God, in the beginning, God said. <laughs> well, said what? He started creating with his words. Well, I don't understand that. That's what I said. You don't, if, if you look at it like that, it, it's, you'll never understand the Bible. <clears throat> what you have to do is believe the Bible. And as you determine to believe the Bible, revelation will come. Right. Oh, I see that. I see that. Yeah, I got, I got that now. Yeah, on the inside. If you try to get it up here, you're out of business. You'll be like the rest of them. A bunch of intellectuals. Don't know nothing. Talk all day long and say nothing. Amen. Preach a big long message and ain't said nothing. What did he say? I don't know. What did he say? I don't know. What can you walk away with? Nothing. That's right. Nothing. You mean he said all them all those words, and he said nothing? Must have, because I don't I don't know what he said. But not so with the Spirit of God. 
Not so when Jesus was talking. Not so when Paul was talking and Peter and John. Not so. Not so. You'll walk away with something. Are you hearing? I'm lengthy tonight, but praise God forevermore. And I'm not ashamed of the Holy Spirit in my life. Glory to God.